ever taken a trip back to the 1978 TV series that brought laughter, shock, and tears right to your living room? Recall that first time you tuned in to the show that became a classic? Well, get ready for a ride through the world of the Taxi series where there's a lot more to discover. Taxi wasn't just a show, it was a journey through the lives of a group of New York City cab drivers, each with their quirks and tales. The series delivered a mix of humor, surprises, and heart-wrenching moments, keeping viewers glued to the screen. So, when was the first time you found yourself in the passenger seat of this unforgettable journey? As we explore the fascinating world of Taxi, get ready for a roller coaster of emotions. There are funny anecdotes, shocking twists, and tear-jerking scenes that make this series a timeless gem. So, whether you're a longtime fan or a newcomer, there's always something to uncover in this universe. Now, we want to hear from you. What's your most cherished memory or personal experience connected to this series? Share your stories, reflections, and anecdotes in the comments below. Let's keep the tales rolling. Stay tuned for more facts and stories about Taxi. Funny, shocking, and sad, we've got it all. And who knows, your story might just be featured in the next ride through memory lane. So, fasten your seatbelts and join the conversation. Your taxi journey is about to get even more exciting. The TV series Taxi, airing from 1978 to 1983, stands out as a classic sitcom for fans of late 1970s and early 1980s television. With 114 episodes and multiple Emmy Awards, the show served as a launching pad for several actors, yet it seems to have been overlooked by some. Set in New York at the Sunshine Cab Company, the series follows a diverse group of taxi drivers and crew members, each with their own dreams and aspirations beyond driving a cab to earn a living. Bobby Wheeler aspires to be an actor, Tony Banta is a struggling boxer, and Elaine Nardo balances being a mother and a receptionist at an art gallery. Alex Riger, a full-time taxi driver, serves as the voice of reason and reluctant leader. Completing the ensemble are the mean-spirited boss dispatcher Louis De Palma, bumbling mechanic Latka Gravis, and the spaced-out Reverend Jim Ignatowski. The show revolves around the ups and downs of these characters, offering a blend of humor, drama, and moral lessons. As the series progresses, it finds its stride by the middle of the second season, solidifying its place as a reliable second-tier sitcom. Although not considered a top-tier TV sitcom, Taxi remains enjoyable, even if it shows its age. First watched in 1978, I recently revisited some episodes on YouTube after more than 35 years. Notably, similarities between Taxi and Seinfeld are apparent, with characters like Alex Riger resembling Jerry Seinfeld as realistic clan leaders, and others drawing parallels to Seinfeld's cast, despite Taxi predating Seinfeld by 11 years. In summary, it offers a mix of entertainment, humor, and moral depth, making it a notable entry in the world of classic sitcoms. Rewatching it recently on YouTube brought back memories from over three decades ago. The connections between Taxi and Seinfeld, despite the 11-year gap, are intriguing. Enjoyable and ageless, it remains a reliable second-tier sitcom. In the world of television history, Taxi, a sitcom that aired from 1978 to 1983, stands out as more than just a series. It tells diverse stories through its unique blend of humor, drama, and moral depth. Behind the scenes, the dynamics among the cast members were interesting. Judd Hirsch openly admitted to a lack of camaraderie with Andy Kaufman, a sentiment shared by the entire cast. In contrast, Marilu Henner spoke favorably about Kaufman. Notably, Carol Kane's attendance at Kaufman's funeral adds an extra layer to this behind-the-scenes drama. The casting choices for the show also add to its history. Initially considering an African-American actor for the role of Bobby, the producers looked at Cleavon Little, who eventually lost the part to Jeff Conaway. Conaway, the lone white actor in contention, secured the role despite casting director Joel Thurm's belief that Cleavon might have been a better fit. It highlights the complexities of casting decisions and the dynamics shaping the show. Taxi drew inspiration from a 1975 New York Magazine article titled Night, Shifting for the Hip Fleet by Mark Jacobson. James L. Brooks and David Davis stumbled upon this piece, exploring the lives of night shift taxi drivers in New York City. The series emerged as a snapshot of reality, depicting the struggles and aspirations of those navigating the city streets behind the wheel. As the series progressed, it found its stride, solidifying its place as a reliable second-tier sitcom. While not at the top, Taxi remains enjoyable, even when revisited decades later. 
Remarkably, similarities between Taxi and the later Seinfeld are apparent, with characters like Alex Riger serving as prototypes for realistic clan leaders. In essence, the show is more than just a TV series. It's a journey through the intricacies of human experience, filled with laughter, drama, and unexpected turns. Uncover the layers of this ageless gem, and you'll find a series that, despite its age, resonates with the universal themes of life. Exploring the 1978 TV series Taxi, we dive into behind-the-scenes dynamics. Judd Hirsch openly admitted to a lack of camaraderie with Andy Kaufman, a sentiment echoed by the entire cast. Conversely, Marilu Henner's positive remarks about Kaufman present a different perspective. Notably, Carol Kane's attendance at Kaufman's funeral adds an extra layer to the off-screen drama reflecting the complexities within the cast. Shifting gears to the opening credits, an interesting tidbit emerges. As the cab traverses New York City's Queensboro Bridge, driven by Tony Danza, the buildings in the background repetitively reappear. This illusionary repetition, achieved by shooting once in the middle of the one four-mile bridge and then replaying it, adds a quirky touch to the show's visual appeal. The interconnected nature of the TV world becomes evident as we unveil the crossover between Taxi and Cheers. The cast overlap is noteworthy, with Ted Danson, George Wendt, Carol Kane, J. Allen Thomas, Ree Perlman, and Christopher Lloyd seamlessly transitioning between the two shows. This cross-pollination of talent adds an extra layer to the viewer's experience, blurring the lines between these distinct sitcom universes. Jim Carrey's cinematic venture, Man on the Moon, becomes a pivotal point of interest. This movie, centered around Andy Kaufman, reunites most of the taxi cast. Carrey's portrayal of Kaufman authentically recreates the drama and eccentricity from the original show, offering fans a nostalgic yet fresh perspective on the enigmatic character. In essence, Taxi transcends its status as a mere TV series, unraveling tales both on and off screen. The quirky visuals, dynamic cast interactions, and unexpected crossovers contribute to the show's timeless allure. A snapshot of New York's taxi world in the late 70s, it remains a gem resonating with universal themes of life and humanity. Following Abe's decision to end the series in 1982, HBO aimed to acquire it but lost to NBC. NBC claimed it was the same time, better network and ads, but their victory was short-lived as they canceled the show after just one season. Quirky comedian Andy Kaufman created his character's persona before joining the series. His famous line, thank you very much, was part of his stand-up routine. The show's writers named his character Latka Gravas, and Kaufman introduced a unique language for Latka, which he talked to Carol Kane over dinner, insisting she speak only Latka's language for her role as Simka. The theme song, Angela, was written and performed by Bob James for his 1978 album Touchdown. Interestingly, the series producers chose a short cue recorded for a specific scene, Blind Date with Alex and Angela, instead of the intended title track, adding a distinct touch to the show's soundtrack. In off-screen dynamics, Judd Hirsch openly acknowledged a lack of camaraderie with Kaufman, a sentiment echoed by the entire cast. On the other hand, Marilu Henner held a favorable view of Kaufman. Carol Kane's presence at Kaufman's funeral added a layer to behind-the-scenes drama, revealing the dynamics within the cast. Zooming into the opening credits reveals an interesting tidbit. The illusionary repetition of buildings in the background during the cab's traverse on the Queensboro Bridge, achieved by clever editing, adds a quirky visual element to the show. The interconnected nature of the TV universe becomes evident with the crossover between Taxi and Cheers. Notable cast members seamlessly transition between the two shows, blurring the lines between these sitcom universes. Jim Carrey's cinematic venture, Man on the Moon, becomes a pivotal point of interest. The movie, centered around Andy Kaufman, reunites most of the taxi cast. Carrey's authentic portrayal of Kaufman recreates the drama and eccentricity from the original series, offering fans a nostalgic yet fresh perspective on the enigmatic character. In essence, the show transcends its identity as a mere TV series, unraveling tales both on and off screen. The quirky visuals, dynamic cast interactions, and unexpected crossovers contribute to its timeless allure. A snapshot of New York's taxi world in the late 70s, it remains a gem resonating with universal themes of life and humanity.